Hello YouTube. Here I am again. Um, doing a remake of an old upload uh, video. Uh, which was back in 2010. A lot of people cannot either hear my video or they can't share it. And then some parts of the video are not um, you know, not, not really showing or something. I, I don't know, maybe it's something with YouTube, but I'm redoing a lot of my 2010 and 2011 videos um, that have been um, really messed up doing the settings. Now, uh, July the 4th, 2010, this was one about the beast, which you know that the beast is really a system. Um, this is about uh, the beast and the dragon, or say, or dragon. <laughs> okay, um, so here we go. Uh, by the way, this dream is according to Revelation 13, uh, where I had went in and read the Word of God, and I found this. Um, uh, as I was rightly dividing the word that it be uh, the confirmation is with Revelation 13 okay this dream starts off um, this dream was like in Noah's day I saw people given over to every sexual um, perversion there is okay as in Noah's day and I mean as in Noah's day People are promoting cannibalism. I mean, as well as sexual sins with anything and everything. And DNA has been mixed with anything and everything. Okay. Uh, I mean, I read the book of Enoch and it explains quite a, a great deal of this mixing as it was in Genesis 6, 1 through 4. Okay, so let me move on. The young people of this generation had become more wicked, I mean so wicked, than the last before them. Everything was very wild in this world. Um, things had become much more darker. Uh, there were more demonic activity and manifestation uh, being, uh, what shall I say, out in the world <laughs> I mean there was just more of it I mean it's just like double or triple of the portion uh, that in, in unusual forms okay when all of a sudden I see something in the water but there was something I was doing I was preaching word of God not I'm not a preacher but in the word of, uh, in my dream I was witnessing to many young people about the Lord and and, and about repentance and that uh, that Jesus will return for his bride and that uh, we need to get ready you know you need to repent and confess your sins forgive everyone okay well I was telling some young people and, and others to change their life and, and uh, like I said confess and I said that um, you know, it is a very short time. I know that you don't believe me, but it's a very short time. This time is short. It really is. And that they need to make preparations to where they will go. <sighs> then I saw the number four. And then I saw zero. Um, I have no idea what that means, whether that means 40 to 50 more years at it, kind of like an age. I don't know, uh, could it be according to Israel? Could it have anything to do with Israel? Well, anyway, uh, more years was added um, these, these years, uh, uh, 40 years were added, kind of like an age limit added to my age and um, which you know that's my thought there I have no idea if it's added to my age um, 
but I'm just uh, that was just a guess <laughs> but I don't know what that number means number 40 okay at the time I had it was in 2010 it's an age of some sort so uh, I kinda looked at it um, gotten some form of revelation that man's life is very short and this one this life is much shorter than than people think. As I talk, some question the coming of the Lord to mock me and laugh. I mean, these young people was like, oh yeah, they've already, people is always talking about Jesus is coming back, the rapture is coming, and oh, you know, the world's going in, yeah, 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 yeah. And they laughed and they mocked me and they said all the same stuff that you hear every day when you're trying to witness to God. Well, this is what was going on in my message. I mean, this is what the Lord showed me in the message. That, uh, while I'm witnessing and I'm trying to tell people, they are going to reject the message. They're going to reject Jesus Christ. They're going to reject all wisdom and revelation coming from God. And But we have to tell it. Because then their blood will not lie on our hand. Okay. So, I heard the Holy Spirit say, this generation will see the coming of the Antichrist. They will see what's to come to pass. All of a sudden, when things were going normal for this generation, I mean, when, when I say normal, I mean when things were, you know, all beautiful and, uh, and normal, you know, that what they call normal. Just everything is, every worldly material thing that they were doing and and worshiping things were just normal as usual. It was a beautiful day outside and sunny. Everything was just normal and it was just beautiful. All of a sudden, I saw a small dragon in the water or ocean. And you know, water represents a multitude of people and nations. It could be any one of the three. That I saw this dragon. Okay, what did I say? I saw a small dragon in the water as uh, or ocean that devoured a man and took him under. People were trying to swim as fast as they could to shore because this dragon was so scary. People began to run for cover and everywhere they needed to go. But there was some that you know was like, oh, it's not so bad. You know, he's gonna be okay. You know, it wasn't. It was people still kind of nonchalant, not really caring. Then everybody was looking at the water trying to see if it will come up again. But we could see the huge body moving under the water. This dragon had tentacles like an octopus. Very big it was and had a dragon head with two little horns and a sharp teeth. Then this is what the small one looked like. The one that I just said was very big. It was um, this dragon. It had tentacles like an octopus. Very big. And it had a dragon head with two horns. And sharp teeth. Then the big, big dragon. Okay. Put a rose up out of the water. Put its feet on the small one that I just described. I saw it just like everyone else and I began to take cover. I was surprised but prepared and ran for cover and I was out of its sight. I grabbed my family and my immediate family. Those who, would, who wouldn't listen, I mean well, those are the family that would listen. Those who mocked the wisdom to, uh, uh, and, and rejected it were in danger of losing their lives to it. This dragon was devouring people all over. This was a giant dragon of great stature like of ancient times. Both beasts arose from the depths of the ocean. The small one got devoured by the big one. The world was committing whoredom while all this was taking place. Before this had taken place. So um, it's kind of like the way Israel, you know, uh, in the Old Testament were committing whoredom of all, with all the other nations, okay? 
fornicating and everything. I mean, and it's like also like when Moses went up on top of the mountain to go talk with God. And then the people began to start, uh, the Israelites began to start to uh, worship idols and fornicate and, you know, just do all kind of manners of evil that was against God. And they knew it was against God. Well, the world was doing the same thing then and they're doing the same thing now. Just as was just as it was in the days of Noah. Okay, it, this world is so much worse than the one before. I mean, the Word of God speaks of it being uh, so bad. There is no there is no time going to be like this ever again, before or even after, nor ever. So we're living not only in a, a, a very very dark time but also exciting time for us the saints that will see all these things come to pass now I heard the spirit of the Lord speak of um, years to watch for never no time or no date but years I heard it real clear he told me audibly the first year to look for is 2013 I don't know if this is the beginning of tribulation I strongly believe that we are we have been in some form of tribulation for a while since uh, 2011 I believe it's like a, a birthing pains or the beginning okay now 2014 and 2015 are like one year on the sabbatical calendar these are not two separate years they are like from April to April So I'm speaking English because not everybody knows the the name of all the sabbatical uh, of all of the months sabbat in a sabbatical calendar, the names of them. Okay. Now there is another important year that he said to watch for was 2018. Yes, 2018. Now First Peter three, chapter three verse 3 and 4 is about the mocking which is rightly divided by the word this is I mean it speaks of it in the Bible and 2nd Peter 3 and 3 which chapter 3 verse 3 and according to um, Revelations 13 this uh, about the beast is very much told in good detail I mean it, it talks about in great detail in Revelation 13 if you would just go there and read that and then you know listen to my dream and they pause it and listen uh, then you can very well give me some comments or something you know uh, but I would love for you to share with uh, share your comments with me on this and uh, uh, also, Second Peter. Let's see. Okay, I've already said that. Sorry, <laughs> I apologize. Okay, now here are the verses to that. I'm gonna make it fast because my time is winding down. Global government of, or glo and global religion. So, according to what my dream is about, here's the word. Here's here are the verses that I have in the chapters. Okay. Now, if you need to pause this, go ahead and pause it. But I'm going to be speaking this really fast. Daniel 7, chapter 7, uh, verse 23 through 27. And uh, Daniel 7, verse 17. Revelations uh, chapter 13, verse 7 through 8. Revelation 17, chapter 17, um, verse 18 revelations chapter 16 verse 14 revelations chapter 17 verse 15 through 16 prophetic symbols of uh, conflict winds and strife and destruction that comes out of this dream is jeremiah chapter 49 36 through 37 okay about the beasts and kings and kingdoms daniel chapter 7 and verse 19 no is that verse? Oh Lord, oh, my cursed frightening has got me in trouble here. 
uh, verse 17, I believe. Um, Daniel chapter 7, verse 17. Now seeing people and nations, Revelations chapter 17 and verse 15. The mocking and scoffing, I've given you those verses already. Second um, Peter chapter 13 and verse 3. Well, okay. Now, um, I hope um, that this has been a blessing to you. And that if any of you have any comments that you would like to um, uh, send to me, please do so. I would like to hear them. And uh, I, you know, I really enjoy fellowshipping with uh, true believers. So please feel free to contact me. Um, well, God bless. I believe that's my time. Okay. Bye-bye.